This is an overview of the Intermediate Capstone Project. Uh, the website is where you're going to find all the information about this. The goal of the project is to assess some specific skills that students have um, developed and, and have grown in through fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. There's three main components of it, task one being an investigation portion, task two being a design portion, and task three being a communication portion. So we're going to dive in and take a look at all three of those tasks. Task one is an investigation. Uh, students are going to uh, have some pre-teaching about natural resources, and the investigation portion of this is going to look at an environmental issue that is caused by the way people overuse those natural resources. Um, so if we look here, uh, there's a little bit of checklist the students are gonna work through in terms of accomplishing this. Um, they're going to choose a specific task. They're going to develop some research questions. Uh, they're going to look at databases and internet searches to answer those questions. And then um, kind of organize all of that information so they could, um, so they can understand it better and then potentially present that to somebody else. Um, all the while keeping track of the sources um, so they can kind of provide citation in an MLA format. Task two, uh, ask the students to design something, uh, specifically an object tool process or system to minimize the impact of the environmental issue that they researched. Um, so this will be something to reduce whatever it is that they, that they found to be the problem. Um, instead of a checklist this time, we have a graphic organizer that walks them through a specific process of completing their design um, where they come at clearly identify their problem. Um, they come up with a bunch of different ideas and they kind of will that down to one specific idea. Uh, one important thing that the students are doing is looking at specific criteria for success. So how do they know that their intervention, um, whatever that may be, was successful? And also understanding the constraints. So is this something um, with the time and resources that are available that can be done by an individual, by a family, by a small community, or is it something much larger than that? Um, and then ultimately, they're going to get to the point where um, they can do a somewhat of a test. They're going to create their uh, their object tool process or system. Um, they're going to test it in some sort of way, which could just be feedback from peers. Um, if they actually have built something, they could actually physically test it, um, which is not a requirement, but simply something they could do. Uh, but that's kind of the process that they are going to go through. Um, there are additional resources on here. We're not going to touch on those. Uh, for the sake of this video being short and simple. Task three is a communication task. They need to be able to express uh, to an audience, specifically their school community, what the problem was and the way in which they are going to tackle that problem. Um, so what they need to do here is they need to choose what tool they're going to communicate with. Um, so it could be something like an infographic, a presentation, a website, a video. They need to pick the thing that they find um, to be the, the best way to communicate the information they have. Um, they are going to communicate their information both informatively and persuasively. Um, the informative piece comes from a lot of the background information, what the environmental impact is, uh, what causes it. Then, they can get into a little bit more of a persuasive piece as they start talking about uh, the uh, object tool processor system that they designed and give some background evidence for why or supporting evidence for why that whatever they created is, is the correct way to go. Um, and also explain those constraints and criteria that we mentioned before. All of that to kind of persuade their audience that this is the right direction to go to um, help minimize this problem that we're seeing. And of course, always provide a source, a list of their sources uh, in an MLA format. So that is uh, overall what the intermediate capstone is all about.